A very patriotic weekend here at the World Center of Racing. All right, man, let's go to work. 160 laps. We came into Daytona with a lot more confidence. The last time we went to a restrictor plate track was at Talladega, and Ricky Stenhouse won the race. Three bells tight. Ready, green. This car seen it was a backup at Talladega. Um, seemed like it would be, you know, a pretty decent car. Not bad. I mean, drive is actually pretty good. Brad Kozlowski out front. He'll see the green checkered flag. That sky looks cool, huh? Good night for W. Trevor Bain has just taken over as the race leader. And by the way, his teammate, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., is 21st. Kyle Busch gets turned, slides up the track. I got to the left as far as I could, I think. I don't know. Check, 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 check. Parts and pieces are flying everywhere off of a half a dozen cars. 42 still spinning down on the bottom. All clear. Oh, you're always concerned about getting damage here. Just 10 laps shy of the end of stage number two, and we get a big one. The field working down the super stretch, back under the green. P12 right now, P12. Digging forward on the bottom. Coming to green checkered. Matt Kenseth will win stage two of the Coke Zero 400. Shall we come in? Top off? Not pitting at the break. We're not pitting at the break. Yeah, Brian Patty, he likes to get aggressive uh, on our race calls. Well, this is an opportunity maybe to score a surprise win. We're trying to get the full car to do the same thing. We could one stop from there, easy. I was trying to flip the field and, and get the track position back. All right, this is the time we got to stay up front, man. Do what you got to do. He's like, man, we can't make it from here if we pit. Uh, let's go for a little while and, and see, you know, the way the cautions fall. 75 to go. Green flag back out. Kevin Harvick top side. Stenhouse Jr. to the inside. Closing on the very top here, six on you tight. Should launch out here. You're clear. A winner at Talladega trying to flex muscle here tonight at Daytona. Trouble turn two, right. Brendan Gaunt into the outside retaining wall. South. We're back under the green flag with Daniel Suarez and Jamie McMurray leading the field. Go with the 88. The 88 tight on the four. Dale Earnhardt Jr. working behind Kevin Harvick. Check, 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 check. Again, we were at the right place at the right time. You just got to make sure that you're around at the end to, to go for a win. Good, there you clean. All clean. It's nice to know that you won't get caught up in all the little wrecks that happen in front of us. And Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is back. Stenhouse has just scratched and clawed and fought his way forward. Good luck, hell, man. See what happens here. Still got 43 laps. Ryan Blaney takes the lead, and he pulls away by a car length. 21 was out a lot further than I think he wanted to be. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. going after the race leader. And I didn't clear him. And uh, I hit him, and then we both got split and we both dropped back. Stenhouse on the bottom gets no drafting help. He's got a plumber in that inside lane. I kind of thought that was, you know, a point in the race that we weren't going to make it back up there. Luckily, uh, we got to lead in that bottom lane, and uh, man, our fifth, third, fourth just really drove up the bottom lane hard and, and we brought a bunch of guys with us. So that was a pretty fun part of the race. Well, we got trouble further back. One car in the wall, others going down pit road. First thing I saw was Kyle Larson in the air. You know, there was a split second decision. You know, do I lift all the way and use the brake and let him in? Or, you know, do I try to get to the outside and make him stay in the middle? Uh, I thought for my opportunity to win that I needed to keep my momentum going. And uh, so I stayed on the outside and, uh, you know, just continued to come up. You good here? Should be good, right? A lot of left front damage, but I don't know. Just relied on our resources, uh, you know, Ricky, Spotter, uh, pictures and video to see how much damage we had. At that point, as long as there's no tire rubs, um, you know, if you pit, you're not going to win the race. No, we're good to go, bub. We're good to go. Come. Final restart, man, it was, um, it was crazy. Green flag and the run to the checkered flag. I uh, thought to myself, let's just push the 38 out there. If I can't win, I want, you know, another Ford teammate to win. Now, David Reagan out by half a car length with drafting help from Stenhouse. It just all happened really fast, and, and I was able to get to the inside. A great move by Ricky Stenhouse Jr. to the inside of David Reagan. He'll take the top spot away. When I cleared him, uh, I was like, oh, wow, this is, this is, we got a really good opportunity here. 
and uh, I knew the 14 was back there pushing the 27. The 14's a really, really good pusher. Menard going to the outside. Stenhouse puts the block on him. It's Stenhouse with the lead. Luckily, they kind of got bottled up there and, and let us uh, take the win. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. across the start finish line. Stenhouse is going back to victory lane. He's the winner tonight. Firecracker 400, baby! <laughs> That's awesome, Ricky Bobby. Boys, you had this thing to up. Winning at Daytona is, is incredible. You know, it being the, the 4th of July, Independence weekend, it was, you know, I don't think there's a way to really describe how it feels and, and what it means to us.